without a screen. You heard right, folks. They're called books, and they're pretty amazing. We take a look at four great new ones on the hot list. Your hair are both real. <laughs> and I feel like a fool. Take care. James Murray, a.k.a. Murr, is all about making you laugh on his show Impractical Jokers, but in his new novel, Awakened, he's going for a screen. If the story comes from this, uh, 14 years ago when you'd ride the subway in New York City, a lot of times the power would go out and you'd be in, plunged into pitch blackness, and it was terrifying. So my mind started to think about what it'd be like to be trapped in the subway system. To bring that terrifying vision to print, Murr partnered with best-selling author Darren Wearmouth. It's been an honor to work with him on this project. I was a huge fan of Impractical Jokers before we started working together anyway, so it's All, just been great. Although Sal was his favorite. <laughs> no matter who your favorite Joker is, the book is full of Easter eggs from the show. Just don't get caught in the subway while reading this, or your imagination may go to a dark place. Suddenly, the cabin jolted. A warning alarm buzzed on the console, and the control shuddered in his hands. The cutter wheel's normally steady rotation increased to a blinding whir. Next to exploring what would happen if the commander-in-chief couldn't be found, the president is missing is at number two. It's about a United States president who's involved in a terrifying world crisis and goes missing. The world record holder for the most books to hit number one on the New York Times bestseller lists, James Patterson, has just added to his record by co-writing a novel with a former president. Being president is a profound honor, but it can also be the most difficult job in the world. And Bill Clinton puts his knowledge to use in the first suspense novel ever written by a U.S. president. Read the book or enjoy the audiobook read by Dennis Quaid. I've learned the hard way that no matter how prepared you are, there are few defenses that work against predators. Next to a book co-written by two women, The Wife Between Us is at number three. It's just this immediate connection. She walked into my office, we immediately hit it off. The editor-author relationship turned Greer Hendrix and Sarah Pekinen into writing partners on the new thriller. We write every single line together. We might have a four to five hour conversation, three or four emails, and 25 texts in a day. The result, a mysterious twisting novel populated by broken relationships and scheming characters. And finally, some empowerment for all the young females out there. The confidence code for girls is at number four. And once we started to dig into it and saw the data, we realized that the confidence gap is real. It's real. Journalists Claire Shipman and Caddy Kay look to change that gap for females with their first book and are looking to rectify it by targeting a younger audience in their second. Drop the drama. The drama in your brain. You literally write down the bad thoughts. Write all that. Screw it up. Toss it over your shoulder. Geared towards girls in middle school and still applicable to teens in high school, the book tries to get young ladies to have confidence in taking risks, messing up, and becoming their amazing, powerful selves. Embrace failure. Realize that other people fail too. And then think, what did I learn? Books proving two heads are better than one on the hot list.